Kelvin Shepard says we need to pump the brakes on rookie linebacker Malcolm Rodriguez. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome to Detroit Lions Syndicate. If you are new to this channel, we talk all things about the Detroit Lions. And if that's your thing, then subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are on our way to 4,900 with the goal of 5,000, and we got about two weeks to get there. So if this is not your first time here and you've been sticking around for a while, consider hitting that subscription button. The notification bell puts these videos in your notification feed. The Detroit Lions defense had massive holes on all three levels at the end of last year, and we decided to spend six of our eight draft picks on defensive players. And that linebacker that we took was Malcolm Rodriguez. Now, the biggest thing about Malcolm Rodriguez was the fact that he's undersized when it comes to the linebacker position. But the Detroit Lions have said nothing but positive things about him since he came to them after the draft. Even in the Hard Knocks episode, Kelvin Shepard said that Someone who works with the linebackers and part of the Detroit Lions staff said in the five years that they had been there, they had never seen a linebacker play like Malcolm Rodriguez. We also saw Kelvin Shepard not want to put Malcolm too high, but he said, hey, listen, this guy is outworking the entire room, and he was drafted in the sixth round. But with all that love and all that praise that Malcolm is getting, the linebacker coach wants us to kind of chill out and bring it back down to reality when it comes to Malcolm Rodriguez. He's become so popular so fast that he is known simply as Rodrigo. That's all good fun, but the Lions would like you to pump the brakes. We're talking about the preseason. Linebacker coach Kelvin Shepard caution. This is a kid who was drafted in the sixth round and hasn't played it down in a regular season game, and I told him the same thing. So he would like the hype to die down, just for the kid's sake. I know that narrative that's out there right now, and that's a lot to put on the kid, Shepard said. I would like to tone it down and kind of see where we're at around week four or week five or six after this guy straps it on against Philly, Washington, and Minnesota. We'll see where we are at. And I hope for my sake and for the Lions' sake that we're still singing the same type of praises. I think that Kelvin Shepard is saying that it's not that he doesn't believe in his ability. He just doesn't want to put the pressure on Malcolm Rodriguez being drafted in the sixth round. But we've heard other Lions coaches as well. Aubrey Pleasant is one that told Jeff Okuda he doesn't have to live up to being the third overall pick. So I think what Kelvin is just saying is he doesn't want to put too much on Malcolm, and then he goes out there, and instead of being able to focus on the game, he's worried about living up to his expectations. Being drafted in the sixth round, I don't know if there's a ton of expectations for Malcolm Rodriguez. I think coming out, there are times that Players slip through the cracks and are diamonds in the rough, and I think we could have that with Malcolm. One of his favorite players is Bobby Wagner, and he kind of models his game after him. Now, Wagner was taken in the second round and Malcolm the sixth, but that doesn't mean that he can't surpass those expectations. The more Rodrigo plays, the more he makes plays, the more the coaches talk about him, heaping even more praise, even when they are trying. He hasn't changed a bit, Shepard said. I get the Malcolm Rodriguez hype and everything. That's all good, and he deserves it. He's a very tunnel vision type of guy. He doesn't care who he lines up against. He doesn't care where you play him, what the call is. His objective is to beat the guy in front of him. So I think him having that mentality and that upbringing, it kind of helps him in this situation that he's kind of fallen into being a celebrity, quote unquote, of hard knocks. And I mean, he deserves it in a way. We've heard that Malcolm Rodriguez not only might work his way into the starting lineup, but he also could have the green dot communication potential. Now, that means, one, the fact that a rookie drafted in the sixth round could be a starter for the Detroit Lions means one of two things, possibly. And I want you to let me know which one you think it is in the comments below. One, Rodriguez is the real deal. And Lions general manager Brad Holmes should be given credit for finding a sixth round gem. Or two, it's a reflection that the Lions linebacker unit was so weak coming into this season, which opened up an amazing opportunity. I'm going to say that it's both, and I'm sure that you're going to agree with me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give it 60, 40, 60 percent that Malcolm Rodriguez was a gem that just fell to the sixth round because of his under because of him being undersized. And I'm going to give 40% that the Lions linebacker core was so bad. That's what I think it is. I think sometimes that there can be diamonds in the rough that just slide through the cracks for one reason or another, whether it's a scouting report or some scout doesn't think he does this right, 
and then you can snag somebody in the sixth round. We said it before, right? In a video I made earlier this week, I said that I didn't know if Will Harris was drafted in the third or the fifth round. He was drafted in the third round. But Amani Awarie was drafted in the fifth round. And he took some time, but once he kind of leveled up a little bit, got into a groove, he has become actually the Lions' number one corner. He's above Jeff Okuda on the depth chart. He's going to be number one. And Jeff, the third overall pick of two years ago, is going to be second to a fifth-round pick. So I think sometimes diamonds can slide through the cracks and you can find someone like Malcolm Rodriguez. So let me know in the comments below, when it comes to Malcolm Rodriguez, do you agree with Coach Kelvin Shepard that maybe we need to chill out a little bit, pump the brakes, let the guy get on the field, not put too much pressure on him to perform with him being a six-round pick and all. I'm going to say I get what he's saying, but I think Malcolm seems to have the personality that he embraces this type of challenge. As Calvin said in the article, this is what he does. He doesn't run from a challenge. He kind of faces it head on. So I don't think we're putting too much pressure on Malcolm Rodriguez. I think at this point, the only thing he could do is go up and surpass whatever expectations we have of him. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Don't forget that the Lions' final preseason game happens this Sunday at 4.30 in Pittsburgh as we face the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then cuts happen have to happen within 48 hours after that. The deadline is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, August the 30th, where we will be cut down from 80 to 53 men, and then we will have our final roster going into the 2022 season. We are almost at our 5,000 mark goal to start the NFL season. So if you haven't subscribed, but you've been watching a few videos, you might as well go ahead and do it. That would make my day. I would appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.